multi-step equation questions have come up every single year on higher tier paper, separate or combined science. How do you know a question is, contains more than one step, more than one equation? First of all, it will be five or six marks, and there'll be a lot of information in the question um, rather than just when you've got to find a third thing and you're given two other things. So let's label what we've got. We've got time, we've got current, we've got mass, we've got length and flux density, and we're trying to find velocity. So we're going to need some equations. Let's look at our equation sheet. What could help us out here with those quantities? So the first one to look at is, well, there's equations of motion. So we've got speed, distance, time, we've got acceleration, um, and there's one that contains magnetic flux density. Now we're going to start off with that one because we know that we can calculate something from that because we have the current, we have the length, and we have the flux density. So let's work out the force. So we're going to multiply two numbers, three, three numbers uh, together. And it's going to give us an answer of 0.0255 newtons. That's two marks already in the bag out of these six. Now that force is going to help us with something else. So let's have a look back at our equation sheet. Now there are two ways of doing this. The quicker way I think um, is not by using any of these because these don't have force in them. The one that does have force and velocity is this one down here. Force equals mass times change in velocity divided by time or momentum divided by time. So we're going to use our FIFA method. We're going to put our value in for force. So 0.0255 mass 4 grams we need to put in kilograms so that's 0 0.004 kilograms times by velocity we don't know what that is divided by time once we've got that far that's another mark let's rearrange this to find what v is so fine tuning we're going to put the divide by 0.15 on the other side and switch this place with 0 0.004 that comes around to 0 0.95623 the second equation we're going to look at is another six marker, so multi-step equation. We've got the time, we've got the initial velocity, which we're going to use the symbol u, and we've got the acceleration, and we've got the distance. Now, the reason why it's six marks is because there are two equations, and it's a little bit tricky to figure out what to use. Now, if in doubt with a question like this, your first thing to do is just to work something out. Take two things that are in the equation and work out a third. You might not be able to work out the distance straight away, but that's okay. It might be easy once you work something out. So one thing we can do is to... Uh, use the acceleration to work out the change in velocity it tells us the initial velocity doesn't tell us the final velocity so let's put our numbers into that 9.8 equals change in velocity over 0.5 the change in velocity happens to be 4.9 meters per second that gives us a couple of marks already now that's our final velocity if the apple's fallen to the ground that's our final velocity and our initial is zero so now we've got an extra bit of information to help us solve our equation for distance now we have initial final acceleration and we're trying to find distance that means it is this wonderful equation here v squared minus u squared equals 2as so let's put the equation down and I'll start putting our numbers in um, now the thing we are trying to find is s so all everything else is just numbers from the equation 4.9 squared minus zero squared equals 2 times the acceleration times by s for distance or you could write x there if you wanted to after that point we're just trying to get s by itself so i divide both sides by 2 times 9.8 keep it in brackets and the distance here happens to be 1.2 meters which makes sense because we are talking about an apple falling so make sure you know how to do these multi-step equations there will be one on your higher tier paper